Sasa nikajaribu kungangana nao nafanya kushtukia tayari wamenikata kichwa tayari kwa mapanga. Nikafika njiani nikapata watu ni kama wako scattered. So nikashanga kuna nini ndo mwenye pikipiki akasema twende tu mbele. Nilipoenda mbele hivi wakatoka tu from corner group wengi wameshika mapanga. Mwenye pikipiki akarasha kuongeza speed nikaanguka from kwa pikipiki. So wakakuja wakanivamia but it's like walikuwa kuumbio. So watatu mmoja kanikata kwa kichwa mmoja kanitoa kumpiga kwa mgongo mwingine akanyanganya baga akikimbia au wengine akanipiga mateka akakimbia sasa kufika kwa stage kapata mobu tu inashuka nashangaa ni watu aina gani ambao wana wanateremka mbio na wako wengi sasa ile harakati ya kushangaa mmoja akanifuata mbio na panga ile kushuka nikaanguka akakata pikipiki kwa kwa kio Alafu kijana wangu ile nayo pia yu haraka cha kukimbia wajikimbiliza kuku kwangu kunifuata badala yao kugeuka kunikosa mimi wakamgeuka yeye wakamkata panga mimi kitu nilishuhudia ni vile wale wakora wamekuwa na mapanga na by the way kulingana vile wamekuja wamekuja kwa wingi ambapo nilikuwa kuepuka nilikuwa huwezi ile ilikuwa kitu kitu imebakia ni mbio tu peke yake unaona basi sasa kulivyo nilivotokezea wakaanza kutakata watu ambapo sasa hakuna tasababu kuna moja yao vijana ya, ya mapanga ambaye aliuliwa jana uh, alipatikana akiiba hiyo ndio information tuko na upande wa junda kule chini so that ma, that jamaa alikuwa na ziko leo so wale wenzake walikuja mazishi kumzika baada ya kumzika ndio wakaanza hiyo vituko ya kulipisha well, th those are some of the victims as well as the Kisauni OCPD, Julius Kirago, speaking with regard to yesterday's incident. And uh, so far, uh, we can be able to say that uh, security is a major concern for not only residents of Kisauni, but to Nyali constituency, which neighbors Kisauni constituency, as well as the Changamu and Likoni constituencies. These are the uh, uh, four constituencies that seem to have a, a challenge in terms of uh, uh, the criminal gangs and uh, Kisauni specifically. Uh, many are questioning how could young boys between the age of 13 to 25 uh, attack residents and uh, where are the parents? Those are some of the questions that uh, uh, the security operators would also want uh, uh, that the parents to take some responsibility responsibility in terms of making sure that uh, what uh, the young uh, boys are doing in terms of joining criminal gangs uh, can be uh, dealt with because uh, uh, the police are saying that um, they will continue with the operation uh, to mop out or to flash out uh, the criminal gangs that have been operating in these areas but um, uh, to with regard to the identity we are yet to know who are these uh, gangs who participated um, in, in yesterday's attack? And also, the, the five who were killed were able to receive their names, but police are, are moving with speed to make sure that uh, they can be able to identify uh, the five individuals who were killed by the police yesterday after an attack at uh, uh, Junda, Mshomoroni, and Kisauni, uh, and Kisauni constituency, where um, uh, security has been a challenge. And also, uh, looking at the larger spectrum in the, la in the last uh, one week, there have been uh, a number of uh, incidents that have been reported and many of these uh, attacks are focusing on m uh, uh, agents in terms of their business and those who op operate a uh, business in such as uh, w w hardware and um, but yesterday uh, more are saying uh, of, uh, more are saying that uh, this was more of a revenge mission but the kisauni uh, ocpd says that uh, the five uh, once they I, have been identified and the, their families have been able to receive their bodies, they will be also moving closely and watching keenly on how the battle will be conducted because most of these incidents happen immediately after the uh, suspect ha who have been killed uh, have been buried. So many of those uh, uh, young men, they know each other and how they are going to uh, conduct themselves. The police are also saying that uh, they are keen and following closely on the developments uh, that will be happening from now and in the next few days. But uh, for residents of uh, uh, Kisauni specifically, they want more security to be beefed up and patrols, especially in the evening and at night. Back to Zinzi and Trevor. All right, thanks, Francis. That's Francis Talaki speaking to us live from Mombasa.